Okay, go ahead. Take one. Hey you guys, what's up? It's Paul Salzer with the Paul Salzer Group. We have our walkability series that I'm very excited about. We've already launched uh, a couple of those videos on YouTube, so make sure that you check our playlist on YouTube to, to see all of our walkability series videos. Today we're gonna be talking about Venice, um, very close to where I live. But before we start, let me introduce my beautiful guest, oh, co-host. Go. Uh, we'll start with Kyle. What's up, it's Kyle yeah, Amacucci. Okay. At Kyle Amacucci on my Instagram. The Michael Joseph at M Joseph SCC below on Instagram. Although I'm actually on an Instagram uh, break right now, so just letting you guys know. As well, same, same. I'm on an Instagram break, good, so good. don't at me. So yeah, don't, don't at him right now. Don't at um, me. Okay, so if you guys want more videos like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button, like button, and leave a comment down below. Where's your thing at? Right there. there. Okay, thank you so much. Comment, <laughs> like, comment, and we'll, like. we'll be happy to answer any questions about this video in, in particular. All right, so let's talk about the walkability series, okay? Let's. We have seven different categories to talk about. We have restaurants, mm -hmm. we have nightlife, we have recreational activities, we have transit, we have uh, farmers, farmers markets. Market. There you go. We have so schools, close. and then we have the beyond. What makes that area special, right? And then after that, we're gonna give you a score of each of those categories, and we'll give you a total score. Are you part of, do you count as beyond for Venice? Yes, I am. I live in Venice adjacent. Venice adjacent. Yes. Totally adjacent. All right, so uh, shall we get started? Let's get started. Okay. Sure. Oh, uh, before we start, the score is from one to five, one being the lowest score, five being the best score. And then we'll add up all the scores up here at the top, and you'll see everything. All right, so let's get started. Let's start it off, Paul. Let's do it. So let's talk about restaurants. It's probably one of people's favorite things about living in a certain area, especially if we're talking about walkability, right? Yeah. What restaurants can we walk to? You know, what there's what a lot of- What can you do after a restaurant to walk around? Right? You had, well, you had dinner. No, right, right. Well, right. well, well we're doing restaurants right now. We're slow not, down, we're buddy. Not slow down. Now. We're not doing that. Slow down. Okay, do you, do you only go to nightlife after dinner? No, but, but, walk around but, it's like, yeah. you but walk normally around before you talk about yeah. dessert, you eat dinner. So you're at dessert and we need to get to dinner first, okay buddy? I think he's hungry. Do you have a sweet tooth? I think he's angry. <laughs> do, you have, do you have a sweet tooth? <laughs> sure, I have a sweet tooth. Kyle, so. go sit in the corner and let the grown-ups Where's the, where, are the, where are the donuts at? He doesn't deserve donuts today. Yeah. I'm glad you didn't bring donuts. Because Kyle had a lot of them last time. Throw them under the bus, I had a couple. They were good. Those donuts, that, those glazed donuts right, were as bald as his head. Wow, okay, wow. Oh my gosh. That's actually pretty funny. Yeah, that's good. It, it, they were shiny like his head too at times. So let's talk about the different areas in Venice that has a lot of restaurants that are walkable. You have Rose. Rose. You have Abikini. Abikini. You have Windward Circle and the, circle. And, uh, and, and, uh, and the Boardwalk. You have Washington. Uh, you have Lincoln. Uh, I think I covered most of the areas there. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think we're good. So let's 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 talk about Rose. Rose is a phenomenal street. You have the Rose, which is a great restaurant. Um, I mean, which I've, they have everything from breakfast to dinner. You can't really go wrong. Yeah, great restaurant. You have Justa right next there, which is close if, to if the If you Gold's haven't gym. had Justa, amazing food. Their, their breakfast as well. The bread is also delicious. Oh, everything on Main Street is fantastic. You know, from Rose, it's right around the yes. corner. There's a couple it's bars. Close it's close to Santa Monica. It is. Right? It's so right that's, on the border. So, so yeah, yeah, and, exactly. and it's perfect for someone like who's a big weightlifter like me. I can go to Rose or Gold's Gym, do all the workouts that and I then, do. And then go to and get then food. Go food, 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 food let's, see those, let's see those arms. I saved that for oh, okay. special people. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Keep going. You have Chulita. Mm -hmm. uh, you have American Beauty. Uh, you have uh, Cafe also, Gratitude, you have Casablanca up the street, you have La Cabana. So Rose is a, is a, is a, is a great street. Okay? I have memories of La Cabana. I'm sure you do. Great yeah. memories I'm of La Cabana. I'm, I'm sure you do. You also have Abikini. Abikini has uh, Butcher's Daughter, it has mm -hmm. Felix Trattoria, which is... I, know, I, 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 am, I am a big fan of the Felix. Trattoria of Felix. Yeah. Yes. Very, Butcher's very Daughter is great too. Butcher's Daughter is great. It's I vegan. prefer the sun. Yeah, but, it's amazing. Yeah. You know, a lot of, a lot of vegan, vegan options in Venice. Yeah. You yeah. have Tasting Kitchen, you have Jelena, but, which is a great restaurant. But bigger than all of that, Yes. you have the capital of Venice. Which is? The original. The original? El Numero Uno. Okay. Air One. You have Air One. Oh. That's true. I mean, Air One is a market. Air, Air One is 
Can I get? Let's, but but let's but take a second it to has the, one of the one. best hot bars in all of can, LA. Can we, can we take yeah. two seconds? So Erwan, sure. Erwan is really the Please, beyond. Look at the camera. Erwan is the beyond of Venice, even in a way. It, it's really an offer. Yeah. You can get a great meal. You can spend way too much money on groceries. Yes. Way, like sure. way too much money. And Paul has actually been spending a lot of time there lately, being a single male, because you also could find your future wife just sitting in the parking lot That's outside true. of Erewhon. Paul, how many hours a day do you usually spend in the parking lot of uh, Erewhon? At least two hours. Every At least two day. hours every day sc yeah. scoping out. Yeah. Uh, so if you're, if you're watching this and you want to come meet me, you know, yeah. seven, to eight, seven to nine o'clock at night, I'll be there. <laughs> he'll buy you, yeah. if, you meet, yeah. if, if you meet him there, he'll buy you a $25 All right, dollars on track Yes, sorry. Rest. Sorry, yes. Back on track to the restaurant. So we have Abby Kinney, a ton of great restaurants. Now let's talk about Wingworth Circle. It really wasn't a, a uh, I would say like a restaurant spot no. um, until the Great War, uh, the great White got in there. Grand Blanco's it there. It was trying to be up and coming for a little bit. I feel like yeah. that's, there's so much foot traffic there mm -hmm. that the smaller restaurants were coming in. The thing is, is that it turns a little darker at night it's, as far as the transient it's a little yes, bit it sketchier I, mean, so. yeah, I remember sure. one, one of my first experiences like after i moved out here i spent a night over by windward circle what 10 11 years ago it's and different. It, it, it was different like yeah. there were restaurants that you'd even try to go in and unless you could show an id that says that you live in venice they wouldn't even let you in they were very like yeah. closed off yeah. to tourists. Yeah. It was and, sort of like and, the locals and, and, area and back in the day. That was back in the yeah, day. And yeah. if you don't know where Windward Circle is at, it's basically where the Venice sign is at. Yeah. But now you have Great White, you have Grand Blanco, mm -hmm. you have um, Bell's Beach House, you have Winston House, you have the Market or Market Venice. You have Noi House, which is a, a kind of like a work it's social a club. club. Yeah, social has club. a great restaurant uh, uh, at also, the top as you, well. You also have the only rooftop 100%. In Venice. The only. I the mean, only. It's crazy out of all of Venice. I mean, you have some like so townhouses more. with rooftops. Yeah, yeah. But public, like rooftops, you only one you have is at Hotel Irwin. Yeah, I know, which is which is nuts. There should be a lot more. 100%. We've but, had, yeah, we've but had Hotel Irwin. Irwin. And we've spent time there yeah, as yeah. a team. Yeah, yeah. 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 Hosting up with blankets. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's nice, but it's it's more of a drinking spot. I, I wouldn't call it like a... They do like do a, food up there. They do food, but it's not really a food place. People go there to have a cocktail. And, you know, so we can cover that in yeah, the, and the, okay, and the, yeah, yeah exactly. Okay. The other area is Washington. It's kind of it's Venice and Marina del Rey adjacent. Yep. You have the Whaler, which is more of like a dive bar ish kind of people uh, whale and whale there. Yes. If you want a good burger, Hanano. Or Hanano. is it Hanano? The one that has the really good burger that's like kind of the dive bar across um, the street from the Whaler. Oh, Pier House. Well, there's no. Pier there Hanano may no, have uh, Hanano is a is a total dive bar. Pool tables. Yes. It Hanano. Feels, okay, the Hanano. best burger really? in, okay. in LA, Hanano's top. In, are, are you oh, putting okay. your name on that? I am, top five. Can you All sign right. your signature in the air so we I know? I just did. There you go. There you go. There you go. All right, so five. You, you, yeah. also have, Angus, you, also have, you also have Pier House. You have South End. Scopa, which is one of my favorite restaurants, Scopa's great. is on Washington. All right. here, here. Um, one, of, yeah. one of my favorite restaurants is there, and we're about to have a contest, right? What? Who can say the name of the restaurant? Um, okay, the next area is also Lincoln. Oh yeah, sorry, that, the, that is on Lincoln. The, 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 the air, the, I, I, know, I know where you're going with this. Yeah. Yes, exactly. So on Lincoln, there wasn't a lot of restaurants on Lincoln, I would say five or six years ago. Now Zinc moved from Abbott Kinney and Venice, which is like prime, prime location, yeah. to Lincoln. So yeah. they're, they're, they're betting on Lincoln, why? Because you have East Venice and you have kind of West Venice, right? Mm -hmm. Whatever is west of Lincoln is west and whatever east is east, right? Um, you also have in that area, um, uh, what else you have? All the towns. Worskirch. That's where I'm going. Is it called Worskirch? I believe it's Worskirch, Worcestershire. Worcestershire? How do you say it? Worcestershire. Worcestershire? No, that's the sauce that you put on. That's the sauce. Right, so. It's a, it's a, it's a good German spot. It's a, it, if you, it, and, you and like sausages, sausage, you can actually just. Amazing. Yeah. Quick, quick tangent. The first ever daybreaker. Quick, quick tangent? Has that ever happened before? The first ever Never. daybreaker, which actually in LA, the first daybreaker, which is an early sober morning dance party. Yeah. We did it. Or, 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 or. Uh -huh. It was just a bunch of people going there early in the morning at 5 a.m. Are you talking about yourself again? To dance their ass off. Yeah. 
5 a.m. Well, that's a pretty cool story, though. Yeah, it's a cool story. 5 a.m. Dance it's a sober cool. dance party. Yeah. <laughs> at Worcester Church. Worcester Church. Exactly. Okay. But that's really, that's cool. they have unbelievable sausages. And if you want just like a quick sausage, a great pint. What's the actual name of that yeah. place? I, I, I'm, <laughs> are we actively trying to pronounce it? All right, all right, all right. So Worcester I'm looking Worcester. at the spelling. So th- let, let's do like the little individual Worcester. syllables. Worst. <laughs> Kirsch. That's it. Sure. Uh, just worse. Kirsch. What is, where's the extra shush? Yes, yeah, I have no idea. That's what you worst tell me all the time. Shush. shush. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> seriously. <laughs> shush. Worst. Yes. <laughs> That's basically it. For MJ. Worst just shut the fuck up. Okay, alright, all right, so that's so. good. So we have covered most of the restaurant areas, I would say. Yep. There's some on the boardwalk, which you would have never seen a like a nicer, finer dining mm-hmm. restaurant on the boardwalk. Because the boardwalk really is tourist. Tourist attraction, right? It but, is but you're but you're starting to see it. Tourist you're starting to see it gentrify. Yeah. And well, now you have the you, yeah. you, you have a fig tree. It's very you sad though the freak show closed. The freak show closed. I know. I am actually sad about it. They have a Starbucks there now. It, I mean, it, it, it's it's but no, I mean overall we can go to that and beyond, but I really think that when it comes to restaurants, you'll find so many little hidden gems around and even one thing we didn't bring up even that I love is Abbott Kenny. Mm-hmm. One night a week, they will have some oh. unbelievable, the best in town, all the food trucks, food trucks come, yeah. they line up down the street. Is that every Friday night? I feel like, like we've gone Whenever we go on Friday it's, nights, it's there. there are yeah. food trucks. We had Ko- it's packed. A lot we had of Koji. If you've ever seen the movie oh. Chef with John Favreau, the end of that movie. Great movie. It's yeah, amazing. Great. They have all of the food trucks lined up. That's actually taking part in Venice. Oh, so go look yeah. at the end of that movie, and that's what Venice Friday night looks like. Okay. Yeah, yeah. it's it's awesome. I mean, uh, and, and the lines are not short, guys. I mean, we waited a long time. You remember MJ <laughs> had, how was he acting? Was. Yeah, he had. He was. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> he was hangry. angry. To he was level. hangry. Listen, at the end of the day, don't fuck with me and my food. I love my food. Stay out of my way if I have not been fed. That is now let's go to scores. Yes, that is true. Uh, I give it a four. I mean, I, I, would, so. I wanted to give it a five. Give it a five uh, then and see what we say. Yeah, okay, I'll give it a five. All right, I'll, I'll give it a four. Give it a four, give it a four. It, it it's a, four. We're going to give it a collective four. We're going to give it a collective yeah, four. Yeah. But if you, feel, if, you, if you feel something, young Paul. Okay, let's go next. Be proud. <laughs> Let it out. All right, so Stand tall. Let's, let's talk about nightlife. Let's okay, go. so. Um, nightlife is anything after we said nine o'clock, right? So Apparently, after any time you eat, it's is, nightlife. Is, exactly, exactly. After it it dinner, depends on if you ask someone in their twenties, thirties, forties, or fifties. Yeah, yeah. In your twenties, nightlife is after midnight. Yeah, exactly. You ask someone in their thirties, it's nine to ten p.m. Yeah, in their forties. Eight o'clock. Yeah, it's true. Taking out Air One. Yes. Air One. <laughs> it's when Paul is getting up to go to Air One. <laughs> Thank you for running Air One. All right, so so let's uh, let's talk about nightlife. Uh, I I wouldn't consider Venice to be a nightlife place. It's not a hub. It's not a hub, but there's a lot of young people out walking around the streets. Abikini yeah. is packed, right? But there's well, only like two or three yeah. bars on Abikini. Yeah, the, right? you have you have the brick. They have music, they have uh, billiards tables, they have a really cool outdoor area. Mm-hmm. You have uh, SoCal Vibes, I think is the name. SoCal Vibes Rooster, the Rooster. Rooster Fish, Fish, which is a really yeah. cool spot, owned by the same guy that owns so- uh, South End. Uh, on a- what sound does a rooster make? Goo, 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 goo. Oh, very well done, Paul. Right? Very well done. <laughs> is that right? I was literally sitting Paul, there. Paul, what, Kyle's... <laughs> what, does that, no, I, what is he gonna come up with? I, have no I was just thinking Kyle's thinking to himself, Paul, really gonna do this? <laughs> I, was, I was thinking to myself, what's that? I'm gonna do I didn't, I didn't want to do it, but I just wanted yeah. to do it. Okay, cool. Right. So, anyway. so Abikini, okay. I would say, probably is the hub for nightlife. After yeah. that, and you have Windward Circle. Yeah, do, you, um, do you know what surprised me, yeah. though? Is, like, I always thought that, like, oh, it's the Venice Boardwalk. Yeah. But really, after like no, 8 p.m. It gets a little sketchy about that. You, you, yeah. 9 p.m. even, you don't want to, A, you don't want to be on there. And, it shuts. There, there really, there isn't anything. There is. There's not much. It no. shuts yeah. down early, it especially does. since the pandemic. Yes, correct. So, correct. so, so, well, Winwood, because Winwood yeah. Circle has the Winston House. You know, Winston so, House is awesome. So yeah, let's let's concert. talk about Winston House. Yeah, it's a concert venue basically where 
great acts from people that you may not have heard before. Yeah. Can you say Winston House with a British accent for me real quick? Winston, huh? The Winston House. <laughs> the Winston House. Hello, no, That's uh, like a 1920s kind of guy. But, 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 anyway, but, but, the, but the Winston House was just a, a, a venue at a house in Venice yeah. yep. back in the day. And they had just like a following. Was the man's name Winston? I have no idea who it was. Winston's it was Winston's house. Was it Winston's, Winston's house? house? Oh, okay, know. cool. <laughs> but they, but, we sounded quite sure about that, Kyle. But, you should have gone with it. But, 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 but on the weekends, they have DJs, they have yeah. bands playing there. So that's a cool spot. Townhouse across the street has been there forever, uh, which is a cool little kind of like a speakeasy yeah, yeah, place. Yeah, yeah. Um, Grand Blanco turns it from a restaurant to kind of a cool night vibe. Mm -hmm. Market as well. Yeah. Bell's Beach House as well. Um, on Washington, uh, the, 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 whaler. The, the Venice whaler is, whaler. is and then Hanano, if you want to walk across the street and, Hanano, you can get a burger yeah. while you're drunk, burger. right? Kyle? Yeah. 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 What, what other nightlife is there in, uh, in Venice? I mean, Main street. I mean, the Victorian. I mean, is it but, 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 but the thing is like, that's, that's is, Santa Monica. is it fair to say like, but so, it is uh, adjacent. Sort of like yeah. what we said though. Like, I feel like Venice nightlife is more, I'd say two things. A, it's just the overall aesthetic of like hanging around like people on the street just walking around. Mm -hmm. But I feel like most people like when they hang out in Venice, it's more of at a friend's house. It's, I was gonna say the thing about Venice is the nightlife it's the is community. good, but then the community of people in Venice once they all know each other, then it's more houses, house parties houses. And yeah, houses it's it's, it's, yeah. it's going so to one of those uh, yeah. townhouses with a beautiful rooftop. Yes, and people have their, their entire block over. It's, it's a yeah. community based. Like if you walk through, let's say the. Um, the canals. Yeah. A lot of the times, there's just neighbors hanging out yeah. at each other's house. It's, it's a very communal yeah. nightlife yeah. thing. So it's just like it, it's interesting because the nightlife, it well, it's very walkable yeah. in that case because yeah. you literally just walk to your backyard or your Sweet neighbor's home. backyard. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's but, a very hidden cl behind closed doors. Kind I think of, I think that's a good know. point. People, it's a very local nightlife. I and and yeah, and not every area is like that. No, but if you live in Venice, I think for the most part, especially west of Lincoln, oh yeah, people. I mean, most of the lots are smaller lots, right? Mm -hmm. um, but people like to be hanging around with their neighbors. It's a they they like to hey. communicate and and, yeah. and socialize. Can you imagine just randomly walking into your next door neighbor's backyard saying, "Hey, neighbor," in Beverly Hills? People would call the cops on. One hundred percent. You're right. You're right. It, 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 you would true. be in jail. It's true. People, people, people are more. Hey man, what's up? Yeah. <laughs> Get off my land. People are a lot more private in, in Beverly Hills. Yeah. That's the vibe there. But, in but, most of LA, but, but it's but, not yeah. just that. Like I like there's Topanga that mm -hmm. is sort of like that, but it's yeah. it's more of that chakra. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's, 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 it's very it's spiritual. A community vibe yeah. is what people buy into yeah. with Venice. Yeah. 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 All right, cool. So uh, I, I think, I think, I think, a number. I think we covered most of it. The only thing that I have left is there's a music venue on Lincoln. So Lincoln, again, another walkable mm -hmm. area is they have the Venice, I think West. It's a, um, it's a little concert place. Okay. So on the, on the weekends they have, you know, live, live music, mm -hmm. which I'm surprised that in LA in general, especially in the West side, there's not enough live music venues. And there's a lot of artists out here. Yeah. It, like you go to Austin, you go to like uh, Nashville. There's live music everywhere. I I, I, I think feel like the, there the thing is L. A. is just so big. Yeah. And I feel like the live music that like I've seen a weirdly I've seen a lot of concerts like performers in Venice, yeah. but again just to like what we were saying, it's you may have the house an house. artist as big as John Mayer just. Yeah. Going over to one of his buddies in Venice house yeah, and doing like an acoustic jam session with thirty or forty neighbors. Yeah. It's it's yeah. it's just the vibe. So yeah. I'd say let's put it to a vote. What do you think? I agree. Uh, I think we said three. I think it's a three if you don't live in Venice. I think if you live in Venice, it's a five. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. You don't really you don't have to yeah. leave. No. I mean, you can really stay there. Uh, again, if you're like in your twenties and you want to go clubbing. There's no real no. Clubs. There's no real club, but but again, no but you, you can go to the, but then you the can go to the beach and listen to music on the beach with twenty of your friends and people who live there. So that's it's true. like clubbing is probably better than clubbing. Yeah, yeah. No, so yeah. I I, so I think that that I think like what you said, it, it's interesting. Like if you're looking to move to Venice and once you live in Venice, the community here, I know people that live in Venice that do not leave. Yeah, they yeah. they they yeah. stay there and it's just like honestly going to the other side of the four hundred five to people that live in Venice. 
is we don't do it, they, they usually use a passport. They yeah. need a passport yeah. to go on the other That's side of the 405. Point. That's a good point. So I, I think we give it a three. A three yeah. for the overall yes. five, which doesn't count for the local. The locals, yeah. All right. So let's let's talk so, about <laughs> Let's talk about recreational for the activities. Locals. Let's, okay. Let's talk about recreational activities. Let's talk about um, there is so much to do. First of all, you have the beach. Which means beach volleyball, it means surfing, it means bike rides on the boardwalk, it means muscle beach, it means paddle tennis. Sorry. Hey, more energy, more energy, more power. Oy, oy. Put the guns away. There's 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 basketball courts there that are like world famous. You have the Gold's Gym. You have not like you have like the, the Gold's Gym everywhere, the original but Gold's gym? it is the Gold's Gym. It's where no. Arnold Schwarzenegger yeah. used to work out in well, Iron. That used to be on Pacific. It's not there anymore. Yeah, now but, it's next to Justa, closer to to Rose. Yeah, but um, I mean, I mean, but it's it's the it's the Gold's Gym. Everybody yeah. goes there, right? But can we? I mean, my favorite part. Can I tell you guys about my favorite yeah. part about recreation in Venice? Why ask? I know, exactly. <laughs> he's, he's gonna tell us anyway, yeah. right? Why ask? I love the Venice canals. The Venice canals are amazing. You can walk down them. It literally feels like you're in a different world. I love it. If I was to move to Venice, I would live on the canals. Yeah. We got a great listing on the canals. We have a great listing. Yeah. We, we, just one second, and I'll, I'll let you give all the information on our listing, buddy. So. The canals are just so peaceful. I mean, I would get a canoe. You can um, get a boat. Click, and you can click get right here because we actually have a full uh, video, like a actual, like a thirty minute long oh, video yeah. of, oh. the, of the canals that that you can watch. And then look at this video over here. And this is our property video for that house that we have in the canals. When, so I, when, see it. My, when my mom came and visited me the first time after I moved out here, yeah. I had a buddy that lived in the canals. Um, Okay, hey, this a, no, we we just took we took a canoe and we just canoed yep. down the canals and it was unbelievable. I think I think one of the coolest things about being on the canals, if you own a house there, you 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 make a little barge and you have a little motor on it. We've seen little it, the the there was that one yep. that had a little gas fireplace on his barge. Oh yeah, just so, around. Yeah, so they're ha having drinks, little gas fireplace as they're motoring down the canals. They that also do really a cool. really cool Christmas parade in the canals. They do. Have yeah. you been to it? I have not, but but I but I but I've heard of it. And it's they're really Art cool. Week too. You know, they Art Week. Everyone yeah. opens their back doors yeah. and neighbors go to each house and they present different art at yeah. different houses. Yeah. And didn't you say it has the most photographed uh, house house? Yes. In L. A. Yes. Yes, it's a, I, I mean, mean that's self uh, claim. Yes, I, I I agree with that. <laughs> I agree with more that. Yeah, yeah. She's, she's, smart. <laughs> she's smart. She's smart. She's smart. actually yeah. like a uh, like a former uh, Univision uh, executive. Mm -hmm. um, I actually re reached out there. She's like, yes, it is the most photographed house. But yeah, I mean, who knows, right? I think this um, is the most photographed so, face. Totally. So let's talk about other so things. You, you can claim anything. <laughs> yeah. So you have the skate park. Yeah. Which is also really cool. I mean, that great. skate park, so, I mean, back, if you go back to, like, Dogtown Z-Boys days, even, like, skateboarding to its core started, like, got some of its roots, yeah. its beginnings yeah. in, in Venice. Venice. Yeah, for sure. The Dogtown Z-Boys. Yeah. Well, I mean, you can hop on a bike and get to Manhattan Beach. You can hop on a bike go and get up Santa to Malibu, Monica. Santa Monica. Yeah. Yeah, the Santa Monica. Um, there's just stuff to do on the it, It's very you know. centrally located in the L.A. beach cities. 100%. Yeah. It's right in the middle, right? Because you have Marina del Rey, Playa Vista, Playa del Rey on the south side. And, and then you have the all the way down to Manhattan and then Correct. so on and so forth. Yeah, and then up you have Santa Monica, Palisade, Pacific Palisades, Malibu. the Boo, the boo. As, yeah. as we call it, yeah. the Boo. Um, the, the other thing that I like about recreational activities is, um, this is actually new. I think mm -hmm. it started maybe like a couple years ago. It's kind of like how Santa Monica has their, their peer concerts on every Thursday night, yeah. or they, they used to. Um, I think they're starting to, to do it again. But Pemar Golf Course, mm -hmm. which is in Venice, it's a, it's a really nice nine hole golf course off of Rose, uh, east of Lincoln. Every Friday night they have a band playing. Would that be and, beyond? Um, this is, uh, it, is, it it is recreational. It is, it is recreational, golf? right? 
Golf is recreation. recreation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll do yeah. golf as a recreation, and, and then, then this will, and then we'll bring come back to the piano. That's, that's true. That's yeah. true. That, that makes sense. All no, right, so we're gonna give Venice recreation. I mean, I think it's obvious. Yeah. Can we do one, two, three? All put our fingers. Yes. Up. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. See what I did. Let's talk about transit. Um, so transit. When we talk about transit, it's like how easy is it to get in and out of Venice with public transit? The the nearest subway line or train line is the Expo line in Santa Monica. Santa Monica, yeah. Which is, I would say, a mile and a half or two miles uh, north of the northern edge of Venice off of Rose. Yeah. So it's close, but nobody's really going to the Expo line. I mean, if you're going to go watch the LAFC or USC or, or Lakers downtown, yeah. or hop to downtown, yeah. you, you take it. But yeah. besides that, or you're not really taking it. go watch the Dodgers. You're not going to want to take the 10 up, you know? Yes, because I have gone to a Dodger game here. It's like an hour and a half sometimes. To drive? During, yeah, during rush yeah. hour. Yeah. We or sort you could sound like the, back we sort of sounded like the Californians from SNL right there. Yeah. 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 Well, you took the 10 over to the <laughs> Dodger <laughs> Stadium to the 405 down the road. Day. Oh my god, not the 405. The 405. <laughs> Was it the north or west? <laughs> All right, sounds good. Sorry, he always, he, he always goes beyond. Yeah. Okay, so I, I the think, thing about Venice yeah. though is the transportation is. We had a, a discussion about this. Is the transportation what we're talking about getting into Venice and getting out of Venice, mm -hmm. or once you're in Venice, is it going to be the similar thing of getting around Venice? Yeah. yeah. So the, there's two different types of community. Yeah, but and I, I feel like like if you ask mm -hmm. locals in Venice. I believe that they would say that they like not having transportation into Venice like that. They like sure. it being sure. that, that local because Venice is such that local community. It is but local. the, th the thing right. about transport, again, is to get around because there's so many of these different neighborhoods, as we've spoken about in mm -hmm. Venice. But the transport, it's not like just like walkable like that where it's just like, oh, let's take the bus. Let's take that. It's more... Hop on a bird, hop on a on scooter, your, take a on bike, your bike your, your roller, rollerblading, yeah, even. Yeah. I, I used to yeah. roller back uh, in my everything, day. Everything, everything's good. Yeah. Uh, you know. So getting around in, inside of Venice is, is great. You know? Easy. And, and it's also It's active. easy, but it's yeah. not. And, it's, yeah. but it's not nice. I think it's different if we're talking transit, though. Like, if it's a public we're gonna form give it of transit. Let's move yeah, on. Let's just go yeah. to we'll, Yeah, we'll give it to you. Next. Okay. All right, let's do it. So let's talk about farmer's market. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah. I am not really um, uh, acquainted oh, with the... Uh, so, can I guess, I actually have someone who, I think we may have a celebrity appearance today. You have a celebrity appearance? Who is it? Yes, I... Is it your girlfriend? You know, we're, no. She, she's above celebrity. She's okay, gotcha. all time high. Okay. But, um, no, a friend of mine is actually currently on Hell's Kitchen on okay. Fox, and she is a farmer's market aficionado and... I already know because we talked a little bit about it that um, the let's three of us the haven't been to let's the get Venice the one, so let, let's give her a call real quick. So she's on Hell's Kitchen. She is on Hell's Kitchen. Right now. Cooking right as we speak. Now. What's her name? Her name is Sammy. Sammy. All right. I'm excited to have Sammy on the phone. Here we go. Sammy's coming on. Let's see what she says. What's her score between one to five in Farmer's Market? If you guys have any ideas, That's what do you think? think so. I think she'll say three. I think 3.8. Is this the one and only Sammy? Yes. <laughs> Sa Sammy, I have a question for you. First off, congratulations. If you guys don't know, real quick before, you're on our um, our video series right now, and I we just told everybody that you are kicking ass for the red team currently on Hell's Kitchen. Can you tell everybody, before I ask you a question by chance, if people wanted to tune in to see you on Hell's Kitchen, w where could they do that? Oh, yeah. Okay, so it's on uh, Fox Network Thursday nights at 8, or it's on Hulu the next day. Hulu the next day. Okay, now that we got the most important piece of information out there, so the three of us have never been to the Venice Farmer's Market, and... Wait, wait sorry. Can you hold on one second? I'm so sorry. Of course. Okay, we're holding. We're holding. Let's see. Holding pattern. H holding on bated breath. Okay, so she's a, a chef, obviously. For One food. of the most badass chefs you'll meet. Uh, does she own a restaurant or is she cooking somewhere? No, she actually uh, does work with one of my best friends, Sammy Udell. Uh -huh. But she also hasn't, which we'll get to in Santa Monica, she is the executive Layla's chef of Layla's Bagels. Layla's Bagels, we've heard about that. Oh yeah, right? we've heard about, we were just talking while well, we were guy. waiting for you about Layla's Bagels and how you also happen to make probably one of the best bagels, if not the best bagel in L.A. 
Thanks. Yes, they're so good. Sorry, I had a like a quick work. No, totally. So. Oh my god! But yeah, sorry. You can go back. We can redo it if you. No, want. no, no, no. We're we're using all of this. We are we are rocking and rolling. So the question I have for you, Miss Sammy from the great state of Ohio. Yeah. O H. Yeah, we love the Midwest. Okay, so let's talk about that. That's right. So so real quick, if you were to rank. The Venice Farmers Market, one through five. What would you rank the Venice Farmers Market and why? Um, probably rate that a three point eight. It has like a good variety of things, but it's hard to find parking, and it's a little small. It's a little small, so it, it, it's like it's not like a four or five like the Santa Monica or West Hollywood, but it, it, but you could still get everything that you want. Yeah, you can still get everything you want. Yeah, I mean it's nice. It's by the beach, but you could get you know okay. buy some homeless. <laughs> and what and what day is it? Uh, Friday. Friday. Eleven to two, I think. Eleven to two. Someone who really knows her farmers markets. And Sammy, real quick before we let you go, how do we find her on Instagram? Uh, can you let us know how we can find you on Instagram and give us a little shameless plug for Layla's Bagels as well? Oh, yes. Okay, so uh, my Instagram is Sammy, S-A-M-M-I underscore Tarantino. And uh, Layla's Bagels is at Layla Bagels on Instagram also. And and if you haven't had your bagels, if you haven't had her bagels, you're wrong. You're wrong. I think that they're probably some of the best in L.A., not going to lie. I I would happen to agree with you. our next YouTube will be at yeah. Layla's. Maybe we'll do your next, our next YouTube live at Layla's Bagels. Yeah, totally. Come on over anytime. Right, let's do it. All right, Sammy. Thank, thank you so much. We love you. Bye, Sammy. Right, good to see you. Good to Bye. See you later. Bye. All right, so she gave it a 3.8. So she, I, I mean, we have to give it a 4. We got to give it a 4. We got to give it a 4. She's, a, she's a, a round up. special guest. Right. Special guest. We'll give it a 4. Mm-hmm. Four. Four. So moving on to what's next, what's next is schools, right? Let's talk about schools. Um, I wouldn't say that people are moving in or families are moving into Venice for the schools. There's about, I think, five or six different elementary schools within no, no. the Venice yeah. kind of area boundaries. I mean, this is also city of LA. It's not city of Venice. Yeah, I, feel, right? I feel like a lot of the, because there are a lot of wealthy families, though, that do yeah. live in Venice. Most of the families that live in Venice send their kids to private, private school private outside school. of Venice. Yes. Yeah, exactly. And yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, I think we gave it a score of three. Yeah. So I mean, there's not much to really talk I mean, about there. They Venice have is Lane. still very expensive to live in, so yeah. the schools aren't bad. They're just I wouldn't say if you could afford everything, it wouldn't be your number one. Choice. No, no, no. no, no. You know. Santa Monica, Culver City. Beverly Hills are probably the areas that people are are, go, are moving to specifically. Studio City, even Studio City, yeah, oh. or or specific areas within the West Side for elementary schools, for pockets, yeah, and, exactly. and things like that. Yeah, yeah. but no, I, yeah, I, I think that it's fair to say that it's a three. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now can we cool. get to my favorite category? Yes. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. Now you're just being beyond for beyond. Of Let's course. go. It's That's time. Right. Okay, so sorry that cut. Really so cut so yeah, so cut. let's let's talk about Beyond because um, this is a great category. I I love this category. It's my favorite. What category. what makes this place rest special? in peace, Beth, yeah. Bed Bath and Beyond. Okay, what makes Venice special? Uh, it's Venice. It, it, there's I mean there's so many there's countless movies that were that, that have been yeah. made in Venice. Californication on Showtime. That was a phenomenal series. Did you guys watch that great one? Great show. It's a great show. That was with, uh, what's his David name? Duchovny. Yeah, yeah. Duchovny. Duchovny. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. and then, like I said, even in recreation, I mean, Dogtown Z-Boys. Yeah, yeah. So so what started this whole trend in Venice? Nobody was buying in Venice 20 years can ago. We, can we also talk about yeah. one thing? It's, it's sad that they've taken a lot of it away, but mm-hmm. Venice was also probably the home of, like, in West Coast street art. Like, if you go back yes. to the day, back the day, graffiti, yeah. all of that, mm. I mean, it's there are pieces that were taken from yeah. Venice that are in museums right yeah. now. And I'm not why, talking about, like... Why are the, people moving to Venice? What is it? Is it the vibe? It's like it's like a spiritual vibe. You gotta feel it's, it in your chakras. Yeah, bro. it's like during... Uh, um, what's that What's that? That one festival up north in, in the desert? Coachella? Burning Man. Burning Man. During Bur- That's during not, during Burning Man, not, no, this place is is absolutely empty. You can hear a pin drop. It is empty. <laughs> Everybody in Venice is at Burning Man, so that's kind of the vibe, 
right? It, it is like, a very it's a very spiritual burner, yeah, yeah. spiritual yeah. yeah. Again, like what is it? Pace of life. It, you know? Yeah, and you're, you're the it's, beach. It's, you have the beach life, but it's yeah. not as tech involved, in my opinion, or professional involved as. No, it's, it's, it's not it's, professional. It is tech. Involved. It's extreme. Yeah. It's, it, this is Silicon Beach. I, okay, yeah. I meant more corporate in my point. It's of not. View. It's not corporate. No, it's more startup. It's more startup. It's the startup techs. And I think yeah. the thing that really makes Venice, to me, which, and spoiler alert, is why I would give it a five even in a way, is because Venice is that type of community where you don't feel like when you're sitting at home, you need to lock your door. You can just keep it open because your neighbor may just come say hi. I mean, it depends on where you live. I, don't know. I, don't I would know. go look at the stats on that before yeah, trusting Yeah, California. yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know you're in California right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so you no, but stay. like, no, I have a friend that lived on the canals and he would leave his door open almost all the time and neighbors and friends would just hop on over to say hi yeah. and stuff like that. I'm just saying it's a very localized area and well, I feel like well, the community, it goes to the community. Well, okay, so let's let's talk about what, what makes it beyond. You have the beach and the boardwalk, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, you have the, the canals. The canals. The local night on the uh, Penmar. Yes, uh, exactly. Bring it the, the the local night Bring at yeah the, the local night at Penmar is really it's really awesome on every Friday night. Um, I think during the summers only. Uh, you have Abbot Kinney with all the restaurants mm. and shops now. Uh, what else do you have? What, what, I mean, what what makes it beyond? I'd you have say fishing. You have surfing. You have uh, yes, you're near the beach, you, but there's you're things also that next to Marina Del Rey. So Marina if you like Rey, boats Malibu, and sailing, taking the boat out. Boom. Yeah, you're also there. very close to Paul Salazar, which is beyond. Yes, beyond. Yeah. Beyond. No, but I, I think that it, it's it's just the overall vibe. It's mm -hmm. Venice yeah. Beach. Yeah. It's it's yoga. It's yoga. It's, yoga. it's Pilates. It's art. I mean, yeah. It's create. Yeah. It's creatives. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's also some a lot of it's a lot of creatives. It is the, some of the number one. Yeah. Startups that are selling for millions and millions of dollars were created in Snapchat. Snapchat, Snapchat. was well, well, well that didn't, Snap, that's Snap. probably not the best example well, right now. Well, well wait, it's but so but it's still it's yeah, yeah, it's still a massive company, <laughs> one of the biggest thing. tech companies ever. They started they like their first office was <laughs> off of yeah. uh, Pacific, Venice. right next to Neuhaus, yeah. right across the street. Neu. Yeah, no, it's that little exactly. house that um that is selling for like five times market value because of that fact. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but I mean. Sure. I, I just think that again, when someone comes to LA, yeah. it's they think of certain areas. They think of going to Rodeo Drive in Beverly, Beverly Hills. Beverly Hills. They Santa think Monica. about going to Santa Monica Pier. They Here. think about the Venice Boardwalk. The Venice Boardwalk. Yeah. I mean, the, this is one of the staples of the, LA. Of LA, 100%. and I think that it's just that area that once you get here, even one thing that I'd recommend that we've done as a team that really made it beyond was renting a bird scooter. And just birding down yeah. the street, even if you're not right on yeah. the water, you feel like that ocean yeah. mist, yeah. the wind blowing in your hair. I'm telling you, it, it's just it's an it's a feeling. Hundred percent. It's a feeling. Yeah. It's. I think I think we're we're gonna give Venice the biggest Beyond score yeah. because of all these factors, you know, and that is a big fat five. And we can, I mean, if, it, if there's a higher score, I, th I think I'd give it a higher score. I think you five know. is enough. Cool down yeah, a little yeah, bit. Yeah. Okay. I, mean, I, I moved here for a reason, this area. Cause, yeah. cause I, cause you I, you I moved to it. Marina Del Rey. Yes, a Jace. A Jace. <laughs> a Jace. <laughs> All right, so okay, that gives so a total let's... score of? Well, you um, covered both. So, so let's good. let's do some closing thoughts on Venice. Yeah. We talked about all the pros. Mm -hmm. What are some of the cons? I just, oh, go ahead, Paul. Or, uh, Kyle. Cons, I mean... As far as real estate market goes, it's so hard to buy in Venice. It's expensive. It's, it's expensive. expensive. So yeah. that's what I was saying. So yeah, yeah. yeah. It, the, the cheapest house you will buy in Venice is one point five, one point six for a teardown for a tiny yeah. little house. Um, and, and cons then, for the amount of money that you're yeah. spending on that. There's a lot of transient still, and yeah. if people feel unsafe at times. Yeah, you know, a lot of there's a lot of homeless. A lot of homeless. I'd say the the downside, the the cons would definitely be there is a lot of homeless. And yeah. I also think that um, I mean, also I, I, sometimes, I mean, and this may just be me, it may be an unpopular opinion, but I'd say if it's your first place that you're buying in L.A. and you're coming from out of state, I wouldn't recommend maybe first going to Venice first because it I feel like... It depends, it depends it, on it depends if you know, for. but but I feel like Venice That's is one know. of those places where it's specific. It's, it's specific, specific yeah. for li for visiting and coming for a drink and hanging out. It's one thing, but to live here, yeah. there's a very familial fa fam family local vibe, yeah. and you want to know people coming in. Yeah. 
and it's a very local vibe. So sometimes Venice could feel very exclusive or territorial. I see People in Venice yeah, could yeah. feel very yeah. territorial. Yeah. Uh, that, and that they sense. don't always fare well to and, outsiders. And, and it's also not easy really to get in or out. I mean, there's no, like, there's a freeway, there's a 10, and you get, and you get the 4 or 5 and the 90. Or you can like, start swimming. Yeah, but it's not that su- it's not that it's not that close. No, getting so out is pretty tough. So getting out is is kind of tough. But again, um, don't take what I said like that because I honestly do believe Venice is one of my favorite neighborhoods in LA. Yeah. I have great friends here. Yeah. I just get to be an honest, impartial. Judge. Let's let's talk about real estate. Okay, so yes. we sell a lot in Venice. We have a listing in the canals. If you're on the beach, it's really not. Uh, people aren't really looking to buy right on the sand because you got the boardwalk right there. Um, there are a lot of beautiful houses on the sand that they sell for a lot of money. Yeah. But I, I wouldn't say people are actually saying, hey, Paul, I want to go look for a house on the sand in Venice. It's that's like a more, block off in the townhouse that's, vibe. Yeah, that's more like with seven, the rooftops. Like a, yes, rooftop vibe for oh, sure. If you can get a good um, rooftop, you yeah. are gold. Yeah. And, you, and you have different areas. You have, the, you know, you, you, have, um, you have East Venice. Which is east of the 405, yeah, and then, which is some some bigger lots, more of a suburban feel. Mm-hmm. If you want more of a, of a suburban feel in Venice, you're going to be east, east yeah. of, of of Lincoln. If you're west, you have different areas. You have Millwood. You have you have you have Millwood. You have Oakwood. You have Windward Circle. Um, you have the Silver Triangle. So these are just a lot of the areas. Yeah, like you realize yeah. that a lot, a lot of triangles. The gold you have, triangle, you have the, the silver uh, triangle, the, the bronze triangle. Okay, I gotcha. All right. Triangles. Anything else, guys? Or are we good with that? I feel like that was a really solid video about walkability. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. You guys know where to find us on Instagram. And uh, hit the subscribe button, like button, and we will see you next time, I think. Yeah. Yes, I hope so. Thank you guys so much for watching again. We love you all. And let us know in the comments how we can make these videos better, right? I mean, our goal is to continue making videos every single week for you guys. We want to educate people that are looking to buy, sell, rent, visit, whatever it is. Looking to move into LA, we want to educate you on on the different areas. We know LA very well. We all live in different parts of LA. So we have knowledge of the valley. We have knowledge of the east side, of the west side, of Beverly Hills, of west West Hollywood. So make sure you watch the entire series because we're going to cover the most walkable areas of all of LA. And with that, peace out. Later. Later, guys. That was a long one.